Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show. And uh, today we have part 21 of Pokemon Sword Revisited. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's Danjo here. I'm just so excited to be doing this once again. Uh... And I, 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 I gotta, I gotta tell you guys, I really don't think I did the Marnie voice the same in the last episode. I haven't gone back to like check because I like the newer one way better. So for future reference, I'm going to be using that iteration of Marnie. Um, it's kind of a new accent for me, so it's going to take some time. And uh, no offense intended, uh, if you are a, um, a female with a Cockney accent, sorry, <laughs> no offense intended for anybody, actually. Um, I mean, like Michael Caine, too. It's out of love, man. Uh, but I don't think Marnie is actually going to be in this episode. I don't believe so. Uh, but yeah, Starmie did wonderfully. Um, and we can catch Pokemon now of up to 35, I think they said. Pokemon up to level 50 will listen. Oh, that's good. That's good. So we can get, like, another 20 levels on all our boys. Finally got Luxray, too. Very happy about that. And... I recall... We have the so We can get the Soothe Bell pretty soon, I think. Um... But yeah, for... Well, actually, we have two. That's fine. Well, I'll, I'll keep this EV in my party for now. Oh, wait, no, I want to put Leafeon back in. I don't want Leafeon to, like, fall behind. I just took him out because, you know, fire-type gym. Um, but yeah, I think we have the makings of a very, very good team. Um, I should probably have Pokemon DB pulled up. I do not at the at this juncture. Um, it's just the website I use for most of my uh, Pokemon information. Uh, I also wanted to check. Um, I think I should have used a Rock-type moves on the last... Dude, yeah. Because Fire is weak to Rock, yeah. And so is Bug. So Rock-type moves on his, on Kabu's, um... Ah, uh, what's his name? Not Sizzlepeed. Um... Sent a Scorch. Uh, would have been rock would be four times effective because uh yeah rock would be super effective against the fire and the bug so a little bit of an oversight there not too much and i don't know if i want to keep starmie as my water type i kind of do Oh, you know what I could definitely do now, though? I could definitely, definitely, definitely... Uh... Kick the certain bootie of, uh... Mustard. Wait, I already did that, right? Yeah, I gotta chase down the slow pokes. That's right. Um... But Fletchinder... Actually evolves at 35. So that would be cool. When 
What about Drill Burr? Ooh, 31. Okay. Okay. How about this? I'll put Leafeon up front. Uh, then Drill Burr and Fletch Ender. And then just kind of like that. We'll just have them in descending order. Or ascending order, I guess. Man, what a girls club. Not a single one of my mains is male. Huh. Okay. We could also hit up the Crown Tundra, but I kind of don't want to do that until... Later. After. Afterwards. Oh, you know it would be sick. Um, one of my favorite all-time water types. Uh, and one of my favorite Gen One Pokemon, uh, Lapras. We could, we could get a Lapras. Um. Get one on Route 9. Also, the Frigid Sea. Um, another really good one to get would be Poplio, but we can't get Poplio in this file, unfortunately. Let's see, how do we get Lapras? Uh, Lapras would be a super rod. That's weird. 1% chance. Okay. That's not great. Um, wow, 1% chance. Uh, snowing or snowstorm while surfing. Is this also while surfing? Surfing in the water. So it has to be snow. The frigid sea. Where is the frigid sea? Oh, is that in the crown tundra? Uh gotta be it's gotta be you know what I just realized um there's not very much water in this game I mean the DLC kind of remedies that but Okay, so we could do that. Um, Lapras would kind of be my... My first pick, I guess? Sfeel is also fantastic. I love, love Sfeel. And Walrein is uh, pretty great. If that's how you say it. I've never heard it pronounced before. So I don't know if that's accurate. But Sfeel is pretty easy to come across, I believe. Also in the Frigid Sea. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know where the Frigid Sea is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's in the Crown Tundra. Okay. So we could do that. Um, let's see what water types are in the main game. That we could realistically, like, go get. I mean, I could just, like, check around the, uh, the wild area. Let's see, we got Choodle, 
which I'm not a fan. We got Wingle, and no. Oh, maybe I could finally get a Growlithe. Growlithe. I mean, Arcanine would be better than Talonflame. Arcanine's kind of like... Kind of my favorite fire type. Of course, we got Vaporeon. Uh, Glycopod is okay. Just looking around. Still checking, still checking. Uh, Mantine isn't terrible. Water and flying is a bad combo, though. We got the, the fossil Pokemon, but I'm not a fan of them either. Um, hmm. Getting a Larvitar would be pretty dope. Same with Gumi. I think Gumi's only in shield, though. I think you have to trade him over, so that's out of the question. I mean, Gudra is one of my favorite uh, dragons in the game. Just period. Oh, Tyranitar is only in shield. Never mind. Dang it, Gumi is only in shield too. Wow. Growlithe is in both. <laughs> he is just much more common in shield. Uh, Hammerlock Hills. And Dusty Bowl. Is it only in harsh sunlight, I think? Intense sunlight, yeah. Forty percent chance. Hmm. Hammerlock Hills is the area right outside Hammerlock, which we're going to anyway. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, intense sunlight, dude. The stars have aligned. Let's freaking go. I'm probably going to run into one. Make your way to Hammerlock. Dude, yes. Here's the thing, too. Like, having a flying type, super good. Not necessary, but very good. Like, because of the Corviknight cabs in this game, you really don't need to have a Pokemon that knows fly. Which has kind of been a staple in like... You can just like fast travel, basically. Um, so Lapras would be hard to come by. I mean, Lapras is great, but... Um, My top pick would probably, for now, would be Vaporeon. He's a really good special attacker. Just, just very tanky with like the amount of HP that it has. Uh, physical defense is pretty bad. However, Special defense is really good. And I think we already have some water type stuff that we could do. Let's see, what does it get? It gets water pulse at 25. That's not bad. Um, it can 
learn brine, which is good. Uh, I can learn some ice type moves too. Um, it's pretty much only a special attacker. Can learn Scald, TR84. Muddy Water, TR45. Can still learn Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Surf, Hydro Pump. Yeah. Yeah, Vaporeon would probably be the best one for now. I mean, better than Starmie. Starmie's okay, but like. Like, especially my Starmie with its moveset, like. It's pretty great. But I want to give a lot of different Pokemon, like, a chance to, like, shine in this playthrough. And I, I mean, I could stick with, like, the same six Pokemon for, like, a long time, but I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and move that item, give it to this Eevee. And see, special attack is already, like, boosted, so that's fantastic. And let's go ahead and... Let's do it. Let's give him a... Let's give him a water stone. I am very much down for that. Hell yeah. And the game capture is actually looking a little low, so I'm going to turn that up. There we go. 64 pounds? Really? Hmm. <laughs> when Victorian's fins begin to vibrate, it's a sign that ra rain will come within a few hours. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of Quick Attack, yeah. I mean, Water Gun is not good. But whatever, we'll get better stuff, like, pretty soon. Uh, I might have better stuff right now, actually. Oh, I have Muddy Water. Nobody can learn that. Sandtoon, Full Swipe. So, Muddy Water would definitely be the best one that I have. TRs come and go, so I'm not, not really worried about it. Um, it's only got 10 PP, but it's not terrible. Um, we could get rid of Sand Attack. Yeah, it's not bad. Can anybody learn Fault Swipe? No? Alright. Cool. It's pretty far behind, too. 39 of these things. Here. 19? How many would that be? Really not that much. Eh. What did I say you do again? 
Eliminate stat changes, yeah. I don't really care about that. Um, Dynamax candies? I'm just gonna give like two to everybody. Oh wait, that doesn't work out evenly. Um... Or I wouldn't have much under, I guess. Let's see, Health Feather, that's HP. We'll give that to Leafeon. Muscle Feather, also. Well, no, Drover. Uh, defense, Vaporeon. Special Defense, um. Fletchender, I think? Fletchender needs that. There we go. Not as good as Vitamins, but. You know, head back to the wild area and make. Why is the flag right there? Huh. My creeples? Creeples? I don't even have any lines. What the fuck? Hurry it up, creeples. Creeples? Huh? An old man is jogging. Yeah, the gym leader, but you still came all this way to see us off. I'll bet you can already tell that I'm the one who'll be the next champion, yeah? I let both of you win. Uh, there are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Phew, we made it. Thank goodness for flying taxis. That's what they're called, right? Uh Oh, it's still Nessa. Crables, huh? Congratulations. It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We'd like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. So, let me send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, Creebles. Is that, is that pretty good? Did I sound enthusiastic? Enthused. <laughs> I love how the little, like, things on Nessa's shoes are life preservers. Like, on the ankles. It's great. Gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're gonna keep winning. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup, after all. Top, top, tip top cheerio, right, right? Come on, Grables, let's head for Hammerlock. Mark okay. Mark okay. It's terrible. It's terrible today, I tell you. It's pretty bad, I tell you what. Hello again, wild area, my old friend. I've come to you again. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Crables, having a lock is up that way, got it? Yeah, I know where it is. Come on, I have a map, bro. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. And now that you know I've got a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. Yeah. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill them in the next page of my Tale Mode Legend, also known as a Pokedex. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you could ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion must really been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. Hi, oh, that's my big brother. You douche. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. <laughs> Rubbish. More like you don't know enough recognize greatness when you see it. Our throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not gonna listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Just out of the frame. Maybe that'll help you finally understand just how weak you are. Yeah. <laughs> You're wrong, Vin. 
I know you challenged Krabos to battle in Kalam, my number two, and last we were there. I have been eavesdropping. I drop all the eaves. Christmas Eve? Easter Eve? New Year's Eve? Fucking your mum Eve? <laughs> what? And glory my number two, oh. Now I'm the greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Kreebles and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? Psh. I'll show you this Wally my... I'll show this Wally my race skills in battle. Ah. Uh... Yo, uh, so see you later, Kreebles. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. We're gonna go enjoy each other's bottoms. All right, bike him. What? A diglet, diglet, dig, diglet, dig. Drio, drio, drio. Uh, fifty W. North Lake Mloch. Uh, you know, I am very, 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 very. Uh, determined at this point. Uh, I don't really care. I don't want a Snorlax. I'm just curious what this is. Uh, nope. Uh, I already... I've been here. I already grabbed the items around here, right? I think so. I... Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I already came through here. Oh, right, I still can't cross water. That's right. Eh, soon. Soon. Should I stop by the nursery? Nah, screw it. Um, I thought there was something here. I love the music in this game. Oh, Stardust. Waiting in the sky, and another reason. I don't know why. I don't really want to not to. I'm not too keen on that idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Stay away! Stay away! Oh, if the weather just changed. Nope, that's intense sunlight. All right, gotta keep my eyes peeled. Man, that sounds painful. Hammerlock Hills, here we are. There's Maractus. More Maracti. Sudowoodo. Pumpkaboo. Maracti. Sudowoodo. Vileplume. I don't see any Growlithes. Or chokes. Sit a widow, sit a widow. Are they supposed to be visible, or are they random? I guess I could check. I 
thought you're. I thought you're supposed to just be able to see them. Did the weather change in the time that it took me to get over here? Nope. That is harsh sunlight. Giant's cap, different area. I thought they were supposed to be like just running around. It might be a random encounter kind of thing. Nope, nope. Nope. Maybe? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. But why are they not here? Uh, it didn't take him out. Uh, 40% chance, 28 to 30. Just walking. Oh, yeah, they're random. You don't see them walking around. Okay. That's... that's fine. That's fine, we'll do some random encounters. Uh, forget? It's special, right? Yeah, I don't want that. TM anyway, I have that one. Ah, uh, ball toy. I just fought you. Come on, man. I guess I could let Vaporeon take care of it. Yeah, Vaporeon's way down there, getting like not very much experience. I mean, if everything is gonna be like weak to water here, I'm totally down to just let Vaporeon do it. Watch, it'll be Growlithe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, freaking called it. <laughs> the one thing I don't want to kill. Uh, let's try a quick ball and see if it'll catch. If not, we'll do it the old fashioned way. Alright. Dude, that's pretty sick. Uh, I could probably use uh, Mud Slap a couple times. I mean, it'll be super effective, I think, but... Yeah, it's pretty low power. And then Yawn, and then Mud Slap a couple more times, and then uh, catch it. Man, I love 
love Arcanine. Now, according to the Pokedex, um, fun fact, Arcanine is a legendary Pokemon. Like how all the Pokemon have, like, their nicknames and stuff. Um, like, Vaporeon is the vaping Pokemon. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, it's the Bubble Jet Pokemon. And Electabuzz is literally, like, the electric Pokemon. Some of them are pretty lame, but, uh... Yeah, Arcanine is known as the legendary Pokemon. Pretty strange, right? Uh, let's get you in a Pokeball. Let's get you in a Pokeball. Uh, use a Great Ball. Yeah, his Pokedex entry in Pokemon Yellow says, A legendary Pokemon in China. Many people are charmed by its grace and beauty while running. Pokemon Gold, the dex entry says, This legendary Chinese Pokemon is considered magnificent. Many people are enchanted by its grand mane. In Ruby and Sapphire, it says Arcanine is known for its high speed. It is said to be capable of running over 6,200 miles in a single day and night. That's insanity. Which was actually confirmed uh, later in Pokemon Emerald says this fleet-footed Pokemon is said to run over 6,200 miles in a single day and night. And they said that again in Black, uh, Black 2 and White 2. And Omega Ruby and Omega Sapphire. An Ultra Moon. It says, uh, there are so many old tales about them that they're called legendary Pokemon. But there are way more of them than you'd expect. Oh my goodness, come on. I don't want to hit Growlithe again, he might. It's like, huh, oh, I dropped his HP. He's sleeping. Oh, it's because of the level difference. I need to switch. Why doesn't Leafy on it? Yeah. Oh, because that was the one I caught. Leafeon is the wild one. First EV that I caught. Yeah, I just need to throw something out there that's higher level. Oh, come on. 
Don't be lame. Probably doesn't even matter. Get it? <gasps> yeah, dog. It is. It is way harder to catch something that is like higher level than you. <laughs> just, just a, just a heads up there. Nice. Puppy. Puppy Pokemon? What? Uh, add to your party, right? Legendary, yeah. They're actually the same level. Uh, put the item in your bag, yeah. Cool. Like, as far as fire types go, Growlithe is way better. And it's a girl. <laughs> Vaporeon's the only boy. It's a boys club. Alright. Uh, Firestone. Wait, is there any benefit to making growth? You know what? Screw it. Firestone, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's my boy. That's my boy. Yep. Wait, does he already have Fire Fang? Extreme speed. Mm -hmm. Speed always goes first. Uh, it's better than Retaliate. Yeah. He's got Fire Fang, though. That's really good. Um, could also teach him Flare Blitz. Do we have anything that would be good for uh, Arcanine? A little less swift. Retaliate, no. Sleep talk, no. Not really, no. Let's see, if I take him to the Pokemon Center, I can teach him Play Rough. Which would be really good. Uh, Crunch, which would be fantastic. Like if there's anything else. I could teach him that'd be really good. Iron Head. That'd be a really good one. That way I'd have a steel type move for somebody. And bulldoze? Hmm, got a lot of good options. Iron Head is only through TR though, so. Uh, actually, no. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to do that. Or I did, but you're not the one I need to talk to. Superpower. I think he can learn superpower too. Man, Earthquake would be fantastic. Um, I 
It's a little bit random who gets the uh Oh we're out of time. We're out of time. Uh the TRs that they carry is a little bit random. Um But yeah. I am gonna get going though folks. So thank you all for being here for part twenty one of Pokemon Sword or Visited. I believe that's correct and many thanks to these amazing people yes it's the Fries and Craft Show members wall um, these folks have uh, generously decided to support the show a bit more directly and if you guys want your uh, username up here you know there, there are perks. This is just one of them. Uh, this is for like the basic tier. Um, but yeah, if you're curious, go ahead and click the join button down there. I have a short video uh, kind of explaining all of it and a rundown of the different perks and all that jazz. But um, it would be greatly appreciated. It's uh, the first tier starts at three bucks a month very cheap that's like uh, a cent a day no that's not that's that's not accurate at all that'd be 30 cents a month 10 cents a day times 30 would be 300 cents would be 300 cents would be three dollars yeah 10 cents a day yeah so um and yeah it's uh helps keep the show alive helps me do what i do and uh, helps us bring you higher quality content and all that good stuff. And most importantly, it's very much appreciated. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, and thanks to everyone. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you liked and subscribed. Because um, those are absolutely free. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Pokemon Sword Revisited. Take care now.